Okay, welcome back to my channel. This is my updated ghost face ranking. I'm ranking all of the ghost faces. So. Okay. For Roman, I'm going with number one because he literally started this whole thing. So, yeah. He could be number one. Okay, then I'm gonna have Stu Marker at number two. And Billy Loomis at three. Okay. Then I'll put Mickey at four. Charlie would be at five, because I personally think he did most of the killings. So. Do will be six. I think there's I don't know how many there is, but uh okay. be number seven. Did I skip a number? No, okay, good, okay. I'm um, at eight. I'm gonna give eight to Ethan. Nine to Quinn. Ten to Amber. Rather well, really a big fan of her. So I have eleven, twelve, and then thirteen. I think Mrs. Loomis would be eleven. Richard Kurtz could be twelve. Jason, 13, and Greg, 14. So this is 14? Okay, and then that's it. Okay, here is the final list of my ghost face ranking. We're going to start off with the first ghost face that got killed on screen three in the opening scene. That would be Greg. I do not know his last name. And then the, sec the 13th is Jason. Okay, coming in at number 12 is Richie Kirsch. Number 11 is Nancy Loomis. Number 10 is Amber Freeman. I didn't really care for her, so yeah. And I prefer Quinn. Number 9 is Quinn. I love Quinn's personality. She gave me Stu Marker vibes, so yeah, she's in 9. Now, number 8 is Ethan Bailey. He does have some good kills, so yeah. And then number 7 is Rain Bailey. And my... Lucky number six is Jill Roberts. Her performance was amazing. And the way she just mutilated herself. Yeah, she deserves to be in the number six spot. Number five is Charlie Walker. He has the most brutal killing in the series. So, yeah. The number four is Mickey Arteri. Number three is Billy Loomis. Number two is Stu Mocker. Can't believe I put him there, but... I did a rewatch of all the screens, so I'm giving credit to where it's due. I'm giving the number one spot to Roman Bridgers, because he is the one that started a lot of this. He's the one that got everybody together. He's ba He was basically Billy and Stu's cult leader, so. Yeah, I think Roman belongs in the number one spot. All of this is because of him. So that is my listing. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, comment your rankings, and yeah, I will see you in my next.